I'm going to check the Bible story. Today I'm going to read Abraham's Big Test Abraham and Isaac Genesis 15 to 15 1 to 6 and 21 1 to 7 and 22 1 to 9 God promised Abraham a, Abraham a son and from that son many descendants who would bless the whole world. But Abraham and his wife Sarah were too old to have children. God said Abraham will have more descendants than the star, right? And but Sarah and Abraham was too old to have children. <laughs> Twenty years went by, but still, Abraham trust God's promise. When he was hundred and Sarah was ninety, God reminded them of his promise. Sarah was going to have a baby. So, God has promised him and 20 years has went by. And but still, Abraham was trusting God's promise because he knew God will, will, God will keep the promise. And when Abraham was 100 and Sarah was 90, God remained it. And Sarah was how going to have a baby. They're very happy. When their son was born, Sarah was so joyful that she laughed. God has brought me a laughter, she said. So they named their son Isaac, which means he laughs. So, so Sarah has had a baby now, and it makes Sarah laugh. So he named his him Isaac. It means he laughs. There's a question. Why is this not working? <coughs> question. God promised Abraham a son whose distance would bless the world. Yes, true. When Isaac was a boy, God tested Abraham by telling him to kill Isaac to Isaac to mount Moriah and kill him kill him as a sacrifice to God. Abraham was confused but he still trusted God. So one day God was testing him. God said to kill Isaac on the altar for a sacrifice. Like 
just now God has given the baby boy and God is saying to kill for a sacrifice I think that time I will be very confused I think I also cannot sacrifice but Abraham still trusted God we should have a faith like Abraham Abraham Isaac carried the wood and Abraham held the knife and torch together they climbed at the mountain where is the lamb for the sacrifice asked Isaac God will provide it Abraham replied so together they were going to sacrifice Isaac I think Abraham didn't tell to Isaac Uh, so Isaac was asking why there is no lamb for the sacrifice and everyone was saying God will provide it. <laughs> Abraham arranged the wood on the altar, tied up Isaac and laid him onto the wood. As he raised the knife to Isaac, an angel called his name, Abraham. So Abraham was tying up Isaac and Abraham was kill, was trying to kill him when he raised the, the knife from the heaven, one voice has came. Abraham! He called his name. Question, what did God tell Abraham to kill as a sacrifice? Number two is the correct answer. Isaac, right? hurt the boy the angel cried God knew knows you trust his promise look there's a in the there in the bushes a ram is cut by his horns sacrifice that instead mm, that's very good so God angel said stop don't hurt the boy God knew that you trust God so now you don't have to kill Abraham Isaac for a sacrifice instead of Isaac you can sacrifice a ram oh that's very good yes we should trust God every time what God says Actually, when <coughs> Abraham tied up Isaac, Isaac didn't say anything because I think he knew that it was what God was saying. So Abraham sacrificed the ram instead of his son. He called the place God will pro provide because God provide the sacrifice just as God has said his promise came true so really that happened so he has named the mountain God will provide because God provide the sacrifice for Abraham and we should and his promise came true Abraham has a very good faith to God, right? I really want to have those faith to God. When, like, 
God said, kill your son as a sacrifice. And really, Abraham trusted God and do it, right? Really, like, was going to sacrifice him. But God had, it was a test. If also it isn't a test, we should do it. We should follow God's, God. Yeah, God. Question, Ab did Abraham believe God would really keep his from promise? Yes. <coughs> mm, I had that one more star. Oh, I didn't have it. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? Then let's see you in the next, next story. Then bye.